What's up guys, I'm Jumei, welcome to my channel. Last week we have talked about the difference between the front end and back end, right? And uh, I hope you can understand that. This week we have to talk a little further to put these two kind of loop together in one fabric. On one column, on the bottom one is the front end, but on the second row, it turns the black back end. How these two loops connect with each other is what we have to talk about today. The process is called transfer. Now let's jump to another video clip to explain that. Loop. Now the loop is inside of the hole that the front end, right? At first, the, uh, the front needle will start to rise like knitting and with the action, the loop will be outside of the tongue of the front needle. Now, it's been outside and uh, the needle will reach the climax of the elevation it can reach. Yep, with this moment, uh, the back needle starts to rise and and one thing, uh, the front needle will be in, will be inside of the hole of the front needle. And after that, the front needle will return to the original place. With the action, can we see that the back needle re remains in the same place, right? And now, uh, the loop is outside of the front needle and returns. In the hook of the back needle, uh, the back needle will return then. See? And the transfer and the transfer action is over. But the loop is still the front end. It's just you know transferred from the front needle to the back. We can see the legs of the front end is still behind the previous one, right? But when the back needle needs the new loop, the legs of the new loop will be uh, in front of this loop. So that will be the back knit. Now the transfer action is over, but in the software, how can we to represent that uh, the first row is the front knit and on the second row will be the uh, the back knit and uh, how to set the transfer in the software. Okay, now let's first um, open the software, create a new file, finish, save it first, alright, the first thing we have to do. Okay. Uh, first, we have to uh, create the fabric first with the front, front end on it. Okay, nothing has changed. So, uh, the fabric is right here, and we know the number one and uh, the number uh, eight represents the front end, right? And uh, the number two and uh, the number nine represents the back end. So, the situation one will be uh, the number one meet uh, number eight. So since they are both uh, the front knit and uh, it will change anything, but nothing will happen because you know uh, the number one and the number eight are all front knit. They you know they are all knit on the front needle, and when the number eight meet the number one, still they are all front knit, and uh, nothing will happen between them. And the same situation happen when the number two meet number nine, or when the number nine meet number two because they are all back knit and uh, it's knitted on the back needle. So the transfer will not happen right there, right? But when the number one meets number two, let's see. Let's and let's take this as the, as the first row. So the first row, they are all uh, front, right? It's on the number forty row, but the number ten column, right? See the marks right here, number ten. And uh, the first row, I want to have the front knit, but on the next row, on the second row, I want to have the back knit right there. So I put number two right here. 10, 40, okay, 41, still the number 10 column, and the second row is, is the back knit, right? And let's uh, go first, and press uh, HCD to see the real action on the machine, all right? Can we see that? This one is the first row, and it need the back knit first, and after that, when the number one meet number two, it actually automatically transferred to the, to the back, and this one is actually the second row, so this loop transferred to the back knit first, and after that, on the next row, it knitted a new loop, which will be the back knit. So now let's take the third row. This one is the 41, right? Uh, on the third row, uh, it's right here. So when the number two meet the number one, you know, uh, the back knit will automatically transfer from the back needle to the front. All right, let's see, let's see the... Uh, it needs back knit, and after that, transfer to the front, and on the third row, it needs the back knit, right? So this is the situation one. 
And what if I put the number nine on the on the second row? I just you know put it right here and uh, to see what would happen. Uh, decode. We can see the the warnings right here in the com compelling information, right? And going to the HDD to see the real action. See, uh, this one is the situation when the number one meet number two, right? It's automatically transferred from the front edge to the to the back. But this one, can we see that? And the front the front loop still remain in the same place. It is not transferred to the back, right? But on the second row, it's still near the back knit. And on the third row, we can see it's not transferred to the front. And when the knitting goes on, the, in the loop on the back needle still hangs on the back needle and it will cause the warning. Uh, this loop will be turned bigger and uh, eventually it will broke. So this is a situation too, you know, uh, when the front knit uh, number one meets number nine, it's not transferred automatically. You know, you have to, uh, Press U, insert empty row right there, and uh, press 100, and uh, give and give the transfer order in this one, and it will be transferred to the to, to the to the back. And don't forget when number nine meet number one, it does not uh, automatically transfer to the front, right? So we still have to give empty empty row right there, um, and give 110. 110 to put the uh, to transfer order in this in this column and it will be you know transferred to the to the front problem so the problem will not be occurred on this factor anymore but when number one meet number two or number two meet number one the transfer action automatically automatically occurs so it'll be more convenient for us to enter program right and let's press this icon and uh, press ok another another problem has disappeared and another situation will be when the number 8 meet number 9. If I put number 9 over here and decode, see, uh, the, the warning occurs, the dangerous needle. Uh, it occurs on the location of uh, 33 columns, uh, 51 rows, right? That's right here. The transfer action does not occur automatically. Let's just you know, click HCD, you see? It's still in there. Uh, the transfer has not appeared and will cause a problem in the fabric when knitting. The, the number nine, the back needle will be hand on the back needle and uh, with knitting, maybe after um, 20 rows, it will be broke. And if you don't want to use number one and number two, you just want to use number eight and number nine, you have to give the transfer order uh, manually. Um, you know, like me, press U and uh, click right, well, uh, click uh, Control One and press U again. Just add one empty right there and uh, and uh, put one hundred. Press R. Give um, the transfer order right there. And don't forget um, on this on this column we still have to give one hundred ten. You know to let one hundred ten to let the back knit. You know transfer to the front. For the uh, for the next row to knit the back knit, all right. And now the button will be disappeared. See, it is okay now. The young feeder we use number one, number three, number five. Uh, I think we have to change something. Press. Never mind. Um, this in this video, I just want to explain the transfer uh, transfer order and uh, to see what code we have to use and some warnings occur between uh, between this and this code. And uh, that's it. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, give me a thumbs up, alright? And I'll see you next time.